Live from BC Children's Hospital in Vancouver, it's the 28th Annual Miracle Weekend. Yes, and welcome. We are live from BC Children's Hospital for the 28th Annual Miracle Weekend. We're here this evening and all day tomorrow at the hospital, which serves close to a million children living in BC and the Yukon. And I get to hang out with you guys on Saturday night. What could be better? <laughs> I'm so excited. It's like our old days. It isn't it? <laughs> we'll show you stories about the amazing kids who've been at this hospital and the caregivers who help them. We'll also show you how your donations are used to fund the equipment and research that save kids' lives. I'm here with um, folks who are representing some of the medical departments here at Children's Hospital. Uh, Dr. Allison Eddy with me and who do we have with us here today? We have members, both physicians and staff from the departments of pediatrics, pathology and researchers at the Child and Family Research Institute. So you guys know firsthand what a difference raising this kind of money makes. Yeah, absolutely. I'd like to take this opportunity to just highlight what we use these resources for and there's really three things that are amazing. One is you know, we really pride ourselves in being able to give state-of-the-art clinical care to every patient we treat, but we have to constantly get better at that, and so the opportunity to review and revise information is important. Secondly, we see that it's important to be leaders in the research charge for the province, really making health care better in the future, and there's, the future looks really bright. There's been amazing advances in the last 10 years that uh, I think personalized medicine will be here just around the corner. And finally, my own concern is to, to make sure we fill in our gaps of qualified physicians and make sure that as people retire and actually more than 20% of our faculty are over the age of 60, that we can move seamlessly into the next generation. So we're educating and training those people that will be running the show in the next few years. So. Dr. Eddie, how much money did you bring in today? We brought in a total of 328000 572. Amazing, and you know exactly how much that money will help. Absolutely. That's great. Thanks so much. I want people to understand what it means to be the only children's hospital in British Columbia, and I've said this before, is that we have to do it all, and we have to be the best. We don't have an option. My name is Maya. I love Jogan Hospital. <laughs> Well, you love it because it has become a second home to us. The thing that is surprising to me is, although he doesn't quite understand his illness, he's so familiar with um, the idea of a hospital that when we go to the grocery store, he asks the cashier if they're doctors because they're in uniform. So he assumes that um, the hospital is everywhere. And I'm happy that he is so comfortable with the hospital that he doesn't fear it. It saddens me, though, that that's his reality. BC Children's Hospital saved my life. Children's is where Jack was born. It was where he was saved. And it's where he will be raised. We're here one to two times a week. This is a home for him. It's a home away from home. And we're very lucky to have it. When I grow up, I want to be a, a nurse at BC Children's Hospital. It's an unbelievable collaborative environment, so I feel very lucky. I actually feel very privileged, and there's many days where I feel I lucked out because I've got the best job in the world. Oscar still loves to come to BC Children's even after two bouts of cancer, and I think it's because it's not a depressing place to, to be. It's full of light, it's full of love, and it's full of hope. So thank you very much to, for everyone who's donating to Children's Hospital and supporting us. So kids like me who had cancer. So thank you very much to all of you. An incredible moment this is, the energy in this room, if you could feel it. Miracle weekend coming to a close and what an amazing weekend mm -hmm. it has been, all right. We gotta check out the big total. Time to check it out. Yeah. Okay, just so uh, everyone, we're ready to shout out those yep. numbers. Are we ready? We're ready. Let's yeah. do it. Ready. Good. Thank you, BC. One, One six, six, three, four, zero. It's a 
confetti storm. Thank it's you very much, party. British Columbia. Wow. That was absolutely amazing. We could not have done this without your help. Thanks very much, Gemma, Brooke, Deb, Alex. Mark, Ted, and everybody else. See you next year. Thank you. Lost in their play through grateful lies, you can hear them say. Someday what happens for you And the peace comes to you from above Miracles happen with love Miracles happen with love And with help from the angel and all of us Miracles happen, yes they do Here's open someday what happens for you And peace comes to you from above